in Katie's classroom. Hi, everybody. Come on into the classroom. Bzzz. Do you hear that? What kind of sound is that? Bzzz. It sounds like a buzzing bee. Bzzz. It is a buzzing bee. <laughs> Hello, little bee. Can you make a buzzing bee with your hand? Bye-bye, bee! <laughs> Honeybees are amazing creatures. They make honey, and they help fruits and vegetables grow. Some of our friends might feel a little scared of bees because sometimes they sting, and that can hurt. But I've learned if we give them lots of room, and leave them alone, usually they don't bother us. If there's a bee buzzing around you, pretend to be a statue and stay very still until the bee buzzes away. Bzzz, bye bye bee. <laughs> Let's say a big hello to all our friends in the classroom today. Let's wave and sing. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name? Can you shout it out? That's a beautiful name. Nice to meet you. everybody. Bzzz. Oh, look, a flower. Honeybees like flowers. <laughs> Honeybees gather nectar from flowers to make their honey. They have to visit a lot of flowers to get enough nectar. So let's find some more. Do you see any flowers? Bzzz. Oh, look, lots of flowers, all different colors. Ooh, these flowers will have lots of nectar for our honey. <laughs> Honeybees gather the nectar, then take them back to their homes called beehives. Inside the beehive, they store the nectar in a honeycomb. A honeycomb is a bunch of little storage spaces side by side, kind of like this. Let's pretend this ice cube tray is a honeycomb and we'll fill all the little spaces with nectar from the flowers. Bzzz. Which flower should we visit first? Bzzz. The blue flower, okay. Honeybees suck up the nectar from the flower using their tongue. It's like a really thin straw. And it goes to a special place called the honey stomach. Then they fly back to the hive and fill up the honeycomb. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more nectar. No wonder they're called busy bees. Bzzz. All right, let's get to work. Let's visit the red flower. Bzzz. There it is. Suck up the nectar. <laughs> Back to the hive. Bzzz. Fill up the honeycomb. Oh, nice job, little bee. Bzzz. Ooh, the orange flower. Ooh, lots of nectar in this one. There you go. Full stomach. Bzzz. Back to the hive. Fill up the honeycomb all day long, back and forth. Bzzz. The purple flower. There we go. Some yummy nectar. Nectar is usually pretty sweet. Bzzz. Fill up the honeycomb. It's a big job. We're almost there. 
Let's try the yellow flower. There we go. Slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> Can we do it? Oh, great job, little bee. We filled up the whole honeycomb with nectar. <laughs> when a honeybee finds a bunch of flowers filled with nectar like this, it will tell the other bees so they can find them too. But the way they speak is not by talking, but by dancing. Yeah, they do the waggle dance. I wonder how it works though. I'm curious. Let's check the curiosity cupboard. Aha, look at this. This is how the bee can tell the other bees where the flower with lots of nectar is. First, the bee moves in a circle to get the attention of the other bees and then waggles in the direction of the flowers in relation to the sun. The waggles tell the other bees which direction to fly, but also how far to fly. The longer the waggles, the further away the flowers. Isn't that amazing? Waggle, waggle, waggle. <laughs> I think that's so neat. Let's pretend to do the waggle dance all together. We can move in a circle, then waggle, 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 waggle. <laughs> move the other way, and waggle, 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 waggle. waggle. <laughs> nice waggle dancing, everybody. My friend Madison is a beekeeper, and she showed me the inside of a beehive. And I saw real bees doing the real waggle dance and lots more. Let's go on a field trip and I'll show you. Come on. Hi, Madison. Oh, hi, Katie. Why don't you tell our friends a little bit about where we are and what you do here? So I'm actually an urban beekeeper, so I take care of bees in the city. And so we're actually on a rooftop in downtown Toronto where it's a home for three honey beehives. And here they are. And here they are. So it's great that there's bees on rooftops, so even in big cities, we can still have bees because I keep hearing about how bees are really important. Yeah, so bees are super important, uh, especially for our food. So bees are the ones that create fruits out of flowers. So oh. without honeybees, all of the beautiful apple tree blossoms wouldn't turn into apples at the end of the season. Oh, so we need the bees to have all the food that we're used to eating. Absolutely. And they make honey too, and we eat honey. I find city bees make the best honey. So is all the honey in these hives? Yeah, it is. Would you like to take a look? Inside? Inside the beehive? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. All right, so this is the beehive. Well, if we're gonna open the beehive, aren't we supposed to have like a, a, a bee suit or something? Uh, we don't really, we don't use them because we're super nice to the bees. So long as you move really slowly, the bees aren't gonna sting you. They good. only care about flowers. They don't really care yeah. about us. Okay, good. Yeah. Right. So the first thing I always do before I go into a hive is I have my smoker. So that's this really fun thing right here. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a chimney. Exactly. It's a chimney with a spout. Uh, so bees can talk through smells. Uh, so there are guard bees whose job it is to make sure that no intruders get into the hive. But if I use this, it covers up all of those smells so the bees don't know that we're going in and we're all friends. Great. So in this bottom box, this is where the queen is. So that's where all the baby bees are. Mm -hmm. So we'll check in and see how they're doing. Okay. So I'm just moving nice and slow. So, oh, this is a heavy one. Wow. Yeah. So you can see, oh, uh, this is a great frame. There's lots wow. of fun stuff. So in the corners here is all honey. And in the middle, do you see all those beautiful colors? Yeah. So that's all pollen. So bees need both honey and pollen for their food. So right there, they have a little bit of pollen on their back legs. 
and this girl right here, so she's doing the waggle dance. So she found some flowers not too far away, and she's actually telling the other bees where they can find those flowers. By waggling. By waggling, yeah. She's telling them how to get there, how many bees to send, how wow. far away it is, all in a dance. That's so neat. So this is all honey underneath that waxy coating they put on top. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll find another honey frame to show you both stages. So this is a frame of uh, fresh honey. So you see all of this liquid gold shining in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all fresh honey that the bees have brought in this summer. So they're visiting lots of flowers all across the city and they're bringing the nectar back and storing it in each of these cells. And then the bees will fan their wings and flap away all of that extra water. And then when it's all done, they'll coat it with a little bit of beeswax. To let you know it's done. Let you know it's done, exactly. And we know that it's ready to eat. Would you, would you like to try some? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. I can't wait to see what it's gonna taste like. Amazing. Go. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, that's Isn't it so beautiful? sweet. That's so yummy. It's kind of like caramel, mm -hmm. like toasty. Really yummy. Well, thank you so much for showing us all this honey and how you make honey and all the bees. It's been really fun, Madison. Yeah, it's been lovely to have you. Yeah. Well, we love bees. Go bees. Thanks, Madison. Thank you. Mmm, do you like honey? Those honeybees made some delicious honey. Here comes a honeybee now. Bzzz. Uh oh, the bee's on my shoulder. I better stay very still, like a statue. Bzzz. Where'd the bee go? On my head? Uh-oh. <laughs> Where's the bee now? On my nose. <laughs> Bzzz. Oh, look. The bee went inside the beehive. Can you make a beehive with your hand? Let's sing Here is the Beehive together. Follow along with me. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Here they come flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Here they come flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Make them buzz. Bzzz. Buzz up high. Bzzz. Buzz down low. Bzzz. Buzzing fast. Buzzing slow, Bzzz. buzz to the left, Bzzz. buzz to the right, Bzzz. buzz all day but sleep at night. Shh. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Here they come flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Bye bye, bees. <laughs> Give yourselves a big clap. <laughs> bees will always buzz back to their hive. Can we help some colorful bees find their way back to their hive? These bees have to get back to the right colored hive. We can help you little bees. <laughs> Let's match them up. Hmm, which hive does this blue bee belong to? Bzzz. This one? No. Bzzz. 
This one, the blue bee in the blue hive. There you go. <laughs> Let's match the rest. What color is this? Purple. Bzzz. Let's find the purple hive. There it is. There you go, little bee. The purple bee in the purple hive. Let's find the green hive. Bzzz. There it is. A match. <laughs> what color is this one? Red. Do you see the red hive? Bzzz. Right here. <laughs> in you go, little bee. Can you find the orange hive? Bzzz. That's it. There you go, little orange bee. One more, a yellow bee. Bzzz. Last one, in the hive. There you go, we did it. All the bees are matched with the right colored hive. <laughs> we can make our own beehive. I'll show you how you can make a beehive like this at home. Let's gather the things we need. Some things we need for this craft are yellow pom-poms, black pipe cleaners, bubble wrap, and a grown-up. We're gonna make our beehive with some bubble wrap. First, we want to paint orange all over our bubble wrap. The bubble wrap is going to be a stamp and the bubbles will kind of make a honeycomb pattern, just like the inside of the beehive. There we go. We'll stamp the bubble wrap onto our yellow piece of paper. There we go, push down. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here it comes. Ooh, look at that. Wow, so neat. We'll leave this aside to dry. And once it's dry, you can cut out a beehive shape. Look at that. And we'll glue it to a tree branch that I just drew out of some crayon on a blue piece of paper. We'll glue it on like that and we'll add some black lines to make it look a little bit more round. The beehive that Madison showed us were made by people, but bees can make their own beehives in the wild, and they look a little bit more like this. Look at that. <laughs> now we need a little bee for our beehive. We'll make that out of a yellow pom-pom, and I cut a black pipe cleaner in half. We'll loop it around like that to make the bees stripes. Then we'll add some googly eyes with some glue and some wings. I just cut these wings out of regular white paper. We'll add two eyes, one, Two. <laughs> There's our little bee. Bzzz. Fly back to your hive, bee. Bzzz. There you go. We've been some busy bees today, haven't we? Let's rest our buzzing bees for a bit and use our imagination instead. I'll read from the book of pretending and you can close your eyes and imagine the pictures in your head. No peeking. Close your eyes and use your imagination. Are your eyes closed? Okay, now let's pretend. You are a honeybee. You have a tiny yellow and black body. You have six small legs and two big wings. You live with lots of friends in a beehive that hangs from a tree. Every bee is buzzing in the hive. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Now it's time to leave the hive and start your job today. You flap your wings and zoom through the air. The buzzing grows quieter and quieter as you fly away. Buzz, 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 buzz. 
Now you get to work. You look for brightly colored flowers. You see pink flowers, purple flowers, and even orange flowers. You spot a giant yellow flower in a garden. That's the one you want. You land on the petal and walk down towards the middle of the flower. Your antenna moves around and feels something sticky. It's nectar. You quickly sip up as much as you can. Mmm, it tastes so sweet and delicious. Sip, 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 sip. Mmm. <sighs> Your belly is full. It's time to get back to the hive. You slowly lift off, your wings flapping hard. Flap, flap. You fly as best as you can on a full stomach. You can hear buzzing again. Buzz, buzz, you're getting close to your hive. One last turn and you swoop inside. Your job is done for the day and it tasted so good. Open your eyes. <laughs> Great job, little bees. Using our imagination is a lot of fun. And I had a lot of fun playing and learning and exploring with all of you today. It's time to say goodbye, but I'll see you again soon. Let's buzz over here. Buzz. <laughs> and we'll wave and sing a big goodbye to all our friends. Bye bye, goodbye. Thanks for playing with me. See you soon. Bzzz.